Hello again, everyone. Welcome back. Well, today we're looking at Stolen Throne Cigars. And their new cigar, the Three Kingdoms. And here it is. This size is the Prensado 6x52, and it is box pressed. There's your density with a closed foot. Has a pretty good feel in the hand. Now this is the third uh, series of cigars, if you will, from Stolen Throne, owned by Lee Marsh and J.R. Cannon out of Virginia. And this cigar uses an Ecuadorian Habano Oscuro wrapper with Nicaraguan binder and fillers. It also comes in a Robusto 5x50. So let's get right to it. The new Stolen Throne Three Kingdoms Prensado. All right, let's give it a clip. By the way, we're just uh, in the middle of our blizzard. Let me do this. Blizzard 2022. Uh, started last night and woke up this morning looking like this but it is in real time now about three o'clock in the afternoon and it's pretty much all gone i'm looking at grass and everything it's only in a few shady areas that's still here it's the way it is in south carolina snows at night goes away the next morning afternoon okay we have a good draw Very nice start. Cedar, citrus combination, citrus peel, light, brown sugar, cinnamon, light underlying toffee. Hope that expands a little bit and uh, light black coffee base. Black pepper at about seven and a half on a 10 scale. So pretty good amount of black pepper. Very nice start. Anxious to see what we have by the first third, but that is a nice start. First third, I still intact, but I can promise you it won't be much longer. Look at that though. Very nice. I've heard someone describe this cigar as a dessert cigar because it's sweet. I would say that'd be a fair assessment. The um, toffee notes are expanding. You still have the cedar citrus and the light citrus peel and nice brown sugar. Nice cinnamon. The cinnamon's really starting to elevate a little bit more. A little bit of light, a little bit of nutmeg and a nice black coffee base, but it's very sweet. It sort of reminds me now it's not going to taste like this, but you know how you have the, 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 the cinnamon and a hot apple pie. You know, you get that cinnamon hit, you get that cinnamon hit in this cigar. It's not apple, but it's cedar citrus instead of apple. So it's a cedar citrus pie, <laughs> whatever. Anyway, sweet. You get my point? It's nice and sweet. And what is Tim like? Sweet. The finish is sort of toffee. And good lingering black pepper. Medium body. But it's, it's, it's it, it, the bottom line is it's nice and sweet. And the flavors that I've described are very good flavors. It's very good right now. I'll rate it 95 for the first third. 
Now, I don't know if it's going to hold that, but uh, initially you're going to get a very nice, pleasing, sweet cigar with some great notes. So let's move on and see what we have in the second, third. End of the second, third. And the ash did finally fall off. You can see right where it fell off. Dead nuts square it's one and three quarter inches long and it's in the ashtray next to me very tight ash very nice um the flavor notes are exactly the same except the black coffee is elevated and there's a little bit of earthiness not much bad that's not necessarily bad but uh i raved about the extreme sweetness in the first third that sweetness is 90 to 95 percent there but the earthiness in the black coffee took away that five or ten percent so the score is 94 for the second third not much difference but some so i'm reporting that the finish is still toffee light citrus and maybe a little light black coffee very good at lingering black pepper now medium body not much else to say it's still very good 94 is nothing to sneeze at but it's just a tick below what it was when it started in the first third so still an excellent cigar I am really enjoying it, and I want to see what happens in the final third. Down to the end, so let's wrap it up. Well, the score got, got back very sweet again. It's fairly heavy on the cedar with some citrus influence. There is still light citrus peel and a lot of brown sugar, light toffee, light nutmeg, and black coffee. Black coffee came back down to a normal amount and it's not earthy. Medium to full body. Finishes toffee and cedar with very good lingering black pepper. This is a sweet cigar. Has lots of notes that are very tasty. I've described them all and I've enjoyed it immensely. Of the two, the Robusto or the Toro, the Prensado, I personally prefer the Prensado. These are getting very scarce. So uh, I think you need to find them quickly if you can, but it's a very good cigar. Final third, I would raise back up to 95 because it's so darn good. And that will get you an overall score of 94.67. Excellent cigar. Lee has a very good cigar here. So there you have it, the Stolen Throne, Three Kingdoms, Prensado, the Toro, 94.67.